prior to some of the new announcements regarding new reserves being discovered in, in the Arctic Ocean, in North Dakota, and other places like this, um, the, the proven reserve within the United States has been somewhere between 21, 25 billion barrels of oil. And what I mean by reserves, this is the amount of oil that is available that we know about that we can actually produce and deliver to a refinery to make gasoline and other products that we use in our society. There are approximately 4.8 billion barrels of oil in reserve in Anwar. Uh, if we drill that today, if we go in there and drill and develop that, and if we use that amount of oil as our sole source to supply the fuel needs for the United States of America, that would last 228 days based on current ballpark consumption rates. We use, as a society, around 21 million barrels of oil a day. So if you simply do the math, if we could produce it fast enough, which we probably couldn't, but if we could produce it fast enough, that would leave us with 220, let's see, yeah, 228 days. If you take in some of the new discoveries, uh, the Arctic Ocean, there are probably 30 billion barrels there that we can use. If we go into North Dakota, there's a new find there um, near uh, Minot, North Dakota. And within U.S. territory, there's maybe another 20 to 30 billion barrels of oil there. Combine that with An Anwar, um, just those new discoveries that adds to our portfolio maybe 30, 50, about 55 billion barrels of oil. Cumulative, that will last us all of maybe about five years. Now, that's the first issue. So when you talk about developing these areas, there really isn't that much there. 65, 62 to 65 percent of the world's known oil is in the Saudi Peninsula, meaning it's in countries Saudi Arabia, Iraq, Iran, United Arab Emirates, Kuwait, a couple other small countries there have 62 percent of the world's known oil supplies. So. Um, when we look at the U.S., there's simply not that much potential in terms of really getting us from importing oil because we would import roughly 70% of our needs. And if we switch strictly to domestic use, it'll last us maybe 5 to 10 years maximum. When you look at drilling in Anwar, there are, there are um, several issues in terms of infrastructure that have to be addressed to make the oil accessible to a refinery. And one of them is you have to set up drilling equipment. This equipment, single derrick being hauled out with, with all of its life pods and everything that they use for drilling in the, in the, in the high latitudes, maybe 50 or 60 semi-truck loads of equipment and gear. Very heavy gear in some cases. What you end up doing is developing a network of roads very true from an aerial extent. It has a very minimal, very small footprint, but that footprint is spread out over a large area. And as you do that, you begin to impact the natural habitats that we intended to protect by creating Anwar. And let's not forget that the reason we gave up Anwar in the first place is because we were already convinced that there wasn't that much oil there anyway. Oil companies would have fought very hard to keep it had they known that they could make a lot of Prudhoe Bay scale uh, production out of Anwar. It's, it's not dry, it's not an area that has no oil, it's not completely petroleum free, but it simply is not as an ideal location as Prudhoe Bay or the uh, Strategic National Petroleum Reserve further to the west.